Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And the Germans have shown up again, supposedly attacking a convoy. We have the Shinobi class ship, the Yodo, and a bunch of destroyers protecting it. Um, they're probably just going to run away again, but maybe not. <laughs> Most of the refits are now done. So I'm going to start putting ships back onto sea control if I can afford it. Uh, right, to the west, so dead ahead. Okay. Boop. Interesting. Three inch and two and a half inch guns on the transports. I, li I, I do like that getting a lot more armed transports these days. We're down to times five. Yeah, they are going to fight. Oh, good. Uh, is that really a light cruiser? Okay. It's a very fat, chunky light cruiser. Gonna probably tear apart with five inch guns. It's a torpedo launch. Oh, are these the armoured ones? They might be. I'll have to get a little bit closer if we want to smash them in then. More torpedoes. Delightful. Just what I always wanted. That's a bit more like it. Bit of flooding. Some torpedoes for them to worry about. Yeah, some torpedoes for me to worry about. <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? Just full stops and launches a whole bunch of more torpedoes. Absolutely unreal. Sinks anyway. Oh, we, we hit the uh, sinking wreck with a torpedo. That seems about right. Okay, good. Let's find that. I mean, I'm not sure the destroyers are going to want to come out and play, but maybe they will. Still, that's two relatively expensive light cruisers, I think. Now, 60 million, they're not that much, actually. Oh, we do spot the enemy destroyer. Going pretty slowly. That's not always a good choice when you're a destroyer. In fact, it's never a good choice when you're a destroyer to move slowly because then you're all easy to hit. Yep. Well, that was uh, short, nasty and brutal. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, the uh, Yodo doing absolutely tons of damage. They are effective. We don't get. To, I don't get to see them in action that often, but 
Yeah, those Shinobis, but the the twelve six inch guns, they they pack a punch. They really do. Very effective at clearing out enemy light cruisers and destroyers, which is really nice to see. Um, you don't always get effective light cruisers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a luxury. Right. I am negative, but I don't mind too much because yeah, we're going to have a bunch of repairs to do. Uh, what I was going to do, though, was I'm going to switch the... <laughs> switch the heavy cruisers onto sea control and all the lighter stuff is going to go on to in being how's that yeah it saves me a little bit of money that's so that I can start refitting the Hawkazis, the Shinobis and the Taihos we're going to start with the Taihos I think Probably the least to do because they're the newest design. They're only three years old. But uh, a cheeky wee refit. Why not? Uh, these already used diesels. Okay, that's nice. Uh, get them the improved shaft, propeller shafts, better armor. They already have everything else. <laughs> Minehunter 5. That will be handy. And the layer five. And uh, well, layer five is just is lighter. Cool. Um and that's pr pr pretty much it. Can we get another pepper range? We can. Sure, 39,000 kilometers of range on a on a DD. Suits me fine. Get those refitted and back into service. One thing I don't know is if you refit a component that has a floor chance, whether it means that you will, you can introduce flaws in a refit. I've never actually uh, tested that. Uh, what? Oh, right. Of course. Here, yeah. refit. There's only four of them available to refit because some of the others will be in battle or something or being repaired, but I'm going to get rid of the old version. Again, at this point, we'll be building new classes of ship. Uh, then it was... I think we'll do the Shinobi next. These have had one refit already in their life cycle, so let's see what a diesel swap will do for them. Oh boy! <laughs> now that's a long range. That's a long range raider. God damn. Leaving them with their 23s. Um, these things, these things are just crazy. I've forgotten how, how like 88% of their what, displacement being taken up. That's ludicrous. That's actually ludicrous. Can we make the guns longer? I mean, they're 50s, which is kind of perfect. So I'm, I'm probably not going to, but. Yeah, they're, they're just rocking around. Just just absolutely fine. <laughs> okay, let's put on a super fancy diesel electric auxiliary system. There's not really much else I can, can, can do with them. Can we push the speed? It's going to make them way more expensive. Yeah, okay, that one's not worth it. But we push them to 32 knots. Um, increase the armor, I guess, but we're maxed on everything. 
Can we brick him? Nearly. Go for th Can increase her armor to quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, it was already good, but this, that's getting silly. She really, really should be absolutely deadly to destroyers with that layout. Okay, let's save that. <laughs> to get rid of the old refit and refit these to the new standard and then it's going to be the Hamakazis. See what we can do with these. Still a good ship. Uh, see if we can make them better. Oil two. Let's switch them to the diesels. Shaft two to shaft five. That's quite the upgrade. Electrohydro steering, modern armor. They are struggling a bit on weight. However, I think, yeah, that layer five, that just saves weight. Brilliant. Um, yeah, these things were kind of kind of compromised a little bit. Although she is underweight. Just be nice to get it. Yeah, not happening. But that that is making them a little bit more capable. Oh, we could go from the two pounder one to three. Uh, now they're overweight. Blast. Maybe not the shaft five, what about shaft four? There we go. Not perfect, but uh, it works. <laughs> They're just a little bit, a little bit more capable now. The tie hose are just way better, but it's nice to get a little bit of more use a little bit more utility out of our more basic destroyer design. And delete the old one. There we go. Everything is now up to the 1940 standard which is fantastic. Uh, we've got some things still repairing, so not all the refits are done, but that should dramatically increase our ability to strike from the Japanese home islands, which is my kind of strategy at the moment. Um, I really only have the Germans and the Spanish to worry about the Spanish. Oh, they are sending a fleet. Look at that. Okay. Uh, do you know what? Uh, let's see if you want to play. <laughs> yes, I know this is stupidly expensive to do, but... Break... Oh, 80 million. Oh, so expensive. So expensive. Let's dial that back a little bit. I don't mind paying a little bit because we are, you know, refitting and stuff. But, um... Yeah. Come at me. Let's let's see if you are prepared to um, to actually fight with that fleet that you're sending over. It would be nice if you were. Italy is fighting Britain. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, the game's going to take ages doing this. I'll be back when the game has done its thinking. Right, welcome back. The refits uh, continue, but it looks like we actually have quite a lot of action, uh, which is nice. So, first of all, we have the Grosser Kurfest, a Saxon class, which is god fucking awful. How are you spending 200 million on a ship that only has six 11 inch guns? No idea. Anyway, uh, we've got a couple of major class cruisers and a bunch of light ships to go and torpedo it to death. Not that I'm going to be able to do that because, of course, <laughs> hitting with torpedoes. But, you know, we should be able to just overwhelm this uh, supposed battleship. And uh, just, yeah, we'll probably overwhelm it with the guns, to be honest. And I guess I get to watch the uh, fun and games of the uh, so called wooden system. possibility is just running away from me. I would kind of like to take out a battleship. But I think this is a ghost battle. Should have seen it by now. Annoying. Very, very annoying. Of us playing off camera, I might consider continuing to try and chase it down, but genuinely that that I know I've said it recently as well. <laughs> Probably in this episode. But that type of battle where you come in and you go on time study for half an hour and you don't see any sign of the enemy, just yeah, just just do something different with that, please, because it's not it's not fun. Um, you know, you get excited for the battle, and then it's just like, oh, it's, it's a disappointment. And uh, disappointment is not really what you want when you're playing a game. Uh, so we have a convoy. That's a pretty small... Uh, small fights. Okay. At least we get to attack a convoy this time. That usually means that they're not running away. Sometimes, of course, it does mean they're running away. <laughs> right, let's go. Got the light cruisers out front. Okay, focus on the transports, please. Oh, wow, uh, I forgot how brutal uh, these mages were against transport. Because with the cruisers coming right at me, I um, kind of want to be able to sink the transports. Those light cruisers aren't going to last. Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. Harder starboard. There's one transport left. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, just. Very dangerous. 
There's eight point nines. Missed. Oh well, the Land Cruisers are sunk. Okay. firing yet more torpedoes. That's the last transport down though. Tired of it just vomiting torpedoes constantly. Sunk. Well, that was. Uh... <laughs> hey, at least the AI tried. They tried. The escorts tried to kind of. <laughs> move out and do something and they scored seven hits seven that didn't go through the armor okay <laughs> oh go home germany go home you're not welcome here and we're just gonna keep Sinking your stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? We'll 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 talk. We'll talk. Uh, not before I. Whoa, Spain! Oh, please don't be a ghost battle. Please don't be a ghost battle. Spain, you actually came to fight us with a single light cruiser. Good for you. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. Probably a ghost battle. Don't get your hopes up. But m maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe they'll come fight us. It's just a single light cruiser against a single light cruiser. That seems like a perfectly reasonable fight to me. For you not to just immediately run away, Spain. But uh, yeah, you're probably going to run away. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh yeah, it's way over there. Am I even catching it? Yeah, 38 knots, and it's running away. No point. I mean, fair enough. You don't want to fight. You have the speed to run away. You can run away, but just just do that on the do that on the campaign map. Devs, please. You know, uh if if it's not wanting to fight and it has the speed to get away, just just, just do it on the campaign map. Because it got me all excited that I was going to finally fight some Spanish, but nope. 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 We are just sitting here, chilling, waiting. Well, waiting for the Miyoko class, the Ashigara, to get repaired so we can refit it. 
just kind of waiting for people to come and sail near near enough to us that we can shoot them. Not that we really have to worry about that too much now because we have ludicrous range on our ships. But uh, it would be nice. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here and uh, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.